Hello, come on in. And you had a little friend round to play, and it gave me a really good opportunity to watch him with other children around. They were drawing together and playing. No, I put them on the table. No, I didn't. It started off OK, but it very quickly led to his little friend running off crying to her parents. Andrew's behaviour got worse and he started to intimidate this poor little girl. Don't do that! Don't, don't! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Andrew! Hey! Andrew grabbed this little girl's face and he started pulling at her and she was so scared and it, it's this kind of behaviour that needs to stop. Next. Ten minutes later, he was acting up again. Andrew, you go to your room, that's not nice. Finally, Mum steps in and she takes Andrew for time out into his bedroom. What a place! It's where he sleeps and plays. I don't think it's a good idea to place any child in their bedroom for discipline. Three minutes. I'll be back. You, you think about it. I'll come back and get you. Andrew, I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to let go of the door until you sit down. When you're sitting down, I'll let go of the door. So how long could you be standing outside here? Half an hour. Holding that door. On and off. <laughs> Are you sitting down? OK, I'll open it. You're sitting down? I'm sorry, you're not allowed to throw things. You're on time out. I'll leave the door open, but don't come out. You want me to get dead? Then you stay in here. Ah, do not step out. Mom has got this time out completely wrong. This is crazy. I'm, I'm going to do step number two with you because you're not listening. What's well, step number two, Andrew? You hold them for four minutes. He's now being kissed well, and cuddled. Not... At the same time, he's meant to be on discipline. So I wonder why Andrew's behaving the way he is. No, I don't want to go. Then you can stay in. <laughs> so Mum has totally lost control of the discipline here. He's got too much control, and poor little Andrew doesn't even know what to do with it. Hey, heart attack boy, can you get up? <laughs> When I observed Andrea playing with his friends, he was very overpowering and controlling. So to help mum and dad, I set up the shared play technique so they could teach Andrew how to play nicely with his friends. Andrew, when she gets done with something, then you can ask for it. When you get done with something, you can give it to her so she can try and cut something. You teach a child how to recognize to play with other children so that they take turns. Ask each other nicely, which is, Please, can I have the knife, Andrew? Or Andrew say, Marnie, please, can I have the fork? Did you hear how to ask nicely, Andrew? Yeah. How do you say it? Good. So, Mum, what we're going to do is we're going to move away now and we're going to take this to the next level. Once Andrew knows what's expected of him, Mum can then allow herself to step back and relax. Look how beautiful he's playing now. I want you to be able to have faith in knowing you can do that with any child oh, you leave yes, Andrew okay. with. 